Hello, so this is going to be my first uh, 12 volt LifePo battery review. I uh, look forward to doing many, many more in the future for you. But today we're going to be taking a good look at a 12 volt 100 amp hour LifePo battery produced by a company called Dongjin Energy. Uh, the name uh, is going to surprise you. It is a whole bunch of letters so I'm not even going to try to pronounce it but you know apparently it's you know to represent all the different facets of their company we're going to go through the you know how it was received the packaging the unboxing and then finally into the capacity test which honestly I, I was very very surprised with the capacity that I received with this unit and after we go through that, I'll go into a little bit more detail about the internals of the battery that I received from the company. Like it came packaged very well. We'll open it up and see what's inside. All right. It is very, very securely packaged. We've got the battery with both of the bolts extra bolts and a product manual from the company I'll put her on the scale see what it weighs twenty six point two pounds good looking battery completely standard layout All right, inside the manual If you want to pause to read each page, you're more than welcome to. There's certifications, uh, all the different batteries that they make, how you can replace, detailed description, how it's set up. As you can see, it is a prismatic cell battery. breakdowns for every single one they've got then the instructions for charging and everything has a hundred amp BMS um, they have a new brand of batteries coming soon oh and they have power inverters as well and just like Pretty much all of the uh, 12 volt uh, LiPo batteries, you can do four in parallel or four in series. It looks like it came at 13.1 volts, just threw it on the charger. Alright, so now we are all charged up. So, gonna hook up and do a discharge test at 10 amps. Check back in when it's done and let you know how it did. As you can see, this 100 amp hour battery tested at 127.78 amp hours. Once I was surprised at the output, I decided to test it again at a higher 12.5 amp load. Okay, so I know for sure that it got completely charged this time. Ran this capacity test at 12.5 amps and ended up at 127.56, so 127 plus again. Well, I have had uh, a lot of discussion back and forth via email with a uh, representative from the company. And, uh, you know, one of the reasons that it tested out quite is that this version is made with eight 63 amp hour cells which you know will certainly explain you know, the higher tests that we got uh, to me you know this is an absolute sleeper battery if you can pick one of these up for the same price that I did I uh, think you're gonna be doing great only downside that I see to this battery is the fact that it 
does not have low temperature cutoff, but if you're like me, you're using it inside your house, you know, you don't really have a worry of temperatures getting down to freezing. So, you know, kind of one of those things you don't really have to worry about so much. Would I recommend this battery? Absolutely. Uh, I would consider the output of this battery to be a sleeper in the 12 volt 100 amp hour class. Uh, also, good communication back and forth with the company, very easy to get a hold of. So, two thumbs up for me, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you would like to see more content along these lines. I do have some other things in the process that I'm going to work on putting together. And let me know if there's any other things you'd like to see me test in the future. Have a good day.